Hello. So this video will be about construction of homogeneous linear equations. Okay, so before you proceed watching this video, so make sure that you have understood and learned how to solve homogeneous linear equations, okay, with constant coefficients. Now, let's proceed. So the steps in obtaining the homogeneous linear equation satisfied by the given equation is that first, you need to write or you need to obtain first the roots of the auxiliary equation suggested by you know the given term present in the equation and the next will be multiplying you know that root or those factors to create an auxiliary equation okay so once that we have the auxiliary equation we replace m by a differential operator d okay and simplify and that's it so that's how you obtain homogeneous linear equations okay so let's try example letter a so y is equal to 4 e raised to x plus 5 minus 2x e raised to negative x Okay, looking at the first term, we have 4 e raised to x. So e raised to x means that we have a root the auxiliary equation equal to positive 1. Okay, and for the second term 5, a constant means that the exponential function here is e raised to 0. That's why the root is equal to 0. Now for the third term, 2x e raised to negative x, the presence of x here means that the root has repeated twice, okay? So the root here, based from the exponential function, is negative 1. And because of the x here, it has uh, this negative 1 has repeated twice, so this becomes, you know, so you go write again, m equal to negative 1. Now, putting this in an equation format, so this becomes m minus 1 equal to 0. Okay, you copy m equal to 0. And then here you have m transpose negative 1 to the left-hand side. So you have m plus 1 equal to 0 since you have, you know, two of these factors. So you just have... So write it in this way. So m plus 1 squared. Now we multiply these factors. So we have m minus 1 times, of course, you have m here. And then lastly, you have m plus 1 raised to 2 equal to 0. Now this is the auxiliary equation. You can combine these factors. So firstly, Expand this one. Okay, copy first m, m minus one. So this will be m squared plus 2m plus one equal to zero. And multiply. So m cubed. Okay, copy m times m cubed plus. 2m squared plus m minus m squared negative 1 times 2m so plus uh, I mean minus 2m and then minus 1 equal to 0. Okay now we combine like terms before you multiply it by m so m cubed 2m squared minus m squared is m squared. m minus 2m is negative m. Okay, copy minus 1 equal to 0. Now we multiply the remaining m. So you have m raised to 4 plus m cubed minus m squared minus m equal to 0. So this is the auxiliary equation. Now, we are going to replace m by d for us to obtain the differential equation. So m becomes d raised to 4 plus d cubed 
minus d squared minus d. Of course, you have to put y since y is the unknown function equal to zero. So this is now a homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient. Okay, now let's proceed to letter B. Y equals 2x squared minus 4e raised to negative 3x. The first term here, 2x squared, means that the root has repeated three times. Now the question is, what is the root for the first term? So here, since there is no exponential function, so m is equal to zero and this zero has repeated three times because of the x squared so you have m equal to zero m equal to zero or basically you can write this as m cubed equal to zero now for the second term you have e raised to negative 3x a distinct real root equal to because of the exponential function here so the root is negative three Okay, only one because there's no x there. Now we put this as a factor. So m plus three equal to zero is one of the factors. Then we combine this one. We have m cubed times m plus three equal to zero and distribute m cubed. So m to the fourth plus three m cubed equal to zero. Now the differential equation will be replacing m by d, so d raised to four plus three d cubed, and then you must put the unknown function here y equal to zero. This is now the differential equation, homogeneous linear differential equation. Let us see y equals e raised to 3x cosine 2x. Now this equation suggests that the root is an imaginary root. Okay, so let's solve its homogeneous linear equation. Okay, before we proceed to finding its differential equation, homogeneous differential equation, let's recall first the solution, the complete solution for um, a differential equation containing an imaginary root. Okay, for instance, m is equal to a plus or minus bi. So this is an imaginary root and the solution having an imaginary root is equal to y equals e raised to a x. So a is the real part of the imaginary of the complex number times c sub one cosine of bx plus c sub 2 sine of bx. So this is the complete solution for a differential equation having, this, having a distinct imaginary root. As you can see in this given function, there's no sine bx. That may be because the arbitrary constant, the value of the arbitrary constant is zero. That's why you have only that part of you know, the solution. Okay, so now let's proceed to finding the homogeneous differential equation. Okay, so this equation suggests that, okay, we write first. So the real part is from this exponential function. So you have three plus or minus. So two will be your B, so two I. This is, um, or this is the root for this particular function. Now, th this represents two roots. The first one is m equals three plus two i, and the other one is m equals three minus two i. So we transpose these terms to the left-hand side. You have m minus three minus two i equal to zero, and here you have m minus three plus two i equal to zero. Now we multiply these factors. So m minus three minus two i times m minus three plus two i equal to zero. m times m, m squared 
m times negative 3, so minus 3m, and then plus 2mi. Here you have minus 3m, minus minus, so you have plus 9, minus times plus, so minus 6i. And lastly, you have negative 2mi minus minus, so you have plus 6i, and then minus 4i squared equal to 0. Now we combine like terms. So we'll copy m squared minus 3m minus 3m, so you have minus 6m, 2mi minus 2mi, 0. What else? Minus 6i plus 6i is 0. So you have plus 9. And this one is minus 4. i squared is equal to negative 1. So equal to 0. Now if you rewrite, the given auxiliary equation will be, so this becomes m squared minus 6m. 9 plus 4, so that is plus 13 equal to 0. Now the differential equation will be, so we are going to replace m by d, the differential operator. So this becomes d squared minus 6d plus 13. Of course, the unknown function is y, so you multiply by y equal to 0. And this is the differential equation, homogeneous differential equation. Okay, finally we have letter D, y equals x squared times the quantity e raised to 5x plus 4. As you can see, the presence of x squared there means that the root has repeated three times. Okay, now let's solve. Okay, if we distribute this x squared, it, be, it will become yeah, x squared e raised to 5x, and this will become 4x squared. So the root for this term will be m is equal to 5, and it has repeated three times because of the x squared there. Okay, so this means that m minus 5 repeated three times, so this will be m minus 5 raised to 3. And for this term, you we have a root equal to zero, and this is repeated three times also. So this will be m cubed equal to zero. And then we multiply this one, m cubed times m minus five raised to three equal to zero. Okay, you can expand this and then multiply m raised to three, or you can replace here m by d. Then this will become d minus five raised to three times y equal to zero. Okay, this is a differential equation. We utilize the differential operator here. Okay, so before we proceed to the next topic or before you end watching this video, let me you know, give another example. Okay, so you might you know, be tricked by this one. So y is equal to two x minus five. As you can see, um, for the first term, you have a root equal to zero, right? And for the second term here, you have a root equal to zero. So this means that the root has repeated twice. So you don't need to add additional zero there. So instead, we say m squared is equal to zero is the root for this particular um, function. Now the DE for this one will be D squared Y equal to zero. So that's it.